New details are emerging this morning about Philip Markov, the alleged Craigslist killer. CBS News correspondent Daniel Seberg has the very latest. Daniel, good morning. Good morning, Julie. Details about the 23-year-old medical student are now coming into focus, including an alleged unwanted physical advance. He pushed me up against the wall and tried kissing me. In an exclusive interview with the New York Daily News, Morgan Houston, a college friend of Markov, discussed an incident with him four years ago that may have been fueled by alcohol. No, Phil, get off me, stop kissing me. And I couldn't physically get him off of me. Another disturbing turn discovered inside Markov's apartment women's underwear from the victims, something analysts refer to as souvenirs from the scene, and a hollowed out medical textbook, Grey's Anatomy, with a gun hidden inside. Never imagined any kind of you know, double life or, or that he was even capable of you know, being able to use violence to, to get what he wanted. Markov is accused of stalking two women who advertised erotic acts through Craigslist, robbing one and killing another, Julissa Brisman. A Connecticut casino is cooperating with the investigation as questions mount over Markov's possible gambling debts as a motive for the attacks. Meanwhile, a wake was held yesterday for Brisman, an aspiring model and actress who was found dead after being shot three times. At least, you know, he's, he's in jail now, you know, and he's going to get what he deserves. In a third case involving the robbery of a woman who posted erotic ads on Craigslist, the Rhode Island Attorney General's office may also be preparing charges against Markov. Julie? Daniel Seberg. Thanks, Daniel. Criminologist Casey jo Jordan joins us now. Good morning, Casey. Good morning, Julie. All right, so police say that the undergarments of the victims were found in his apartment, which, by the way, there are reports that he shared this apartment with his fiance. Correct. What does it say about this guy? Well, from the beginning, they have always listed uh, robbery as the motive. But there's a sexual component to it because all of the victims were advertising sexual or erotic services on Craigslist. And the idea that you would go to all the trouble to arrange a very expensive hotel for erotic services just to rob the person that you are going to meet never made sense. The sexual component is there. The fact that they found souvenirs of a sexual nature shows that there is an underpinning of thrill that really transcends the idea that it was just a money motive robbery. I mean, it doesn't even sound money motivated to me because if you're answering an ad, this person that's meeting you there is thinking they're going to get money. How do you even know these women are going to show up in the hotel room with money in their pocketbooks? You don't. And that's why the robbery, you know, I believe he had gambling debts. I believe he wanted the money as well. But, but the underlying theme is the thrill, the idea of arranging it, getting something for nothing, getting someone to meet you there, to trust you, to tie, to, to tie up the victims. Uh, perhaps there was sexual contact, maybe not. But to rob them at the end, and of course the one girl who resisted uh, allegedly was killed. So you, you have that idea that there's power and control and thrill and sexuality all wrapped up in this guy's psyche. Look, if everything we're hearing about this guy is true, what, what do you think the motive here is? It doesn't sound like it's money for a gambling debt. It's not it? primarily money. I mean, he needed the money. I, I believe he did have debt. Uh, with regard to gambling. But don't forget, gambling is a really thrill-oriented activity. There is a thrill component. This guy has a character, a personality issue, that he needs the rush of the confrontation, of feeling like he's getting over on somebody, getting something for nothing. And the idea that he would meet these girls and go to great lengths to do it, when he could just rob somebody with a gun at a cash machine, it shows that this crime is very multifaceted. The idea that this isn't the stereotype of the person who would do this, also really gives him that rush, the idea that no one would suspect him. I'm sure he thought he was going to get away with it. That's how he got so careless. But then what do you make of uh, the gun that was supposedly found hidden in a textbook, you know, a hollowed Grey's medical... Anatomy. Yeah. yeah. Every medical student has one. The, the idea that there are undergarments from the victims, again, shows that he wanted to remember the event. Something about the event, whether it was sexual or thrilling, was something he wanted to take home with him and relive by looking at that or touching the souvenir. And there's way more about this crime than simply money-motivated robbery to pay a gambling debt. We will stay tuned. Casey Jordan, thank you. Great to be here.